house goes up in flames, and now firefighters say they don't know what started it. WCNC reporter Natalie Dick tells us why, live at 6 tonight. Natalie? Dave, you know it's really a sad day for many of the people who live over here in the old Providence community. Take a look behind me here, and you can see what happened early this morning. Hundreds of families consider this place, this clubhouse, like their second home in the summer, but as you can see, there's very little that remains today. It happened in a matter of minutes, more than 30 years of memories destroyed. We'll miss it. No one yet knows what caused the Windy Rush Country Club to suddenly burst into flames. But those who live nearby will never forget the sight they saw before dawn this morning. It was starting out in just the back, and then we saw it start billowing out through the roof. And then before we knew it, in two or three minutes, it was basically totally ablaze. Police say the fire could be seen several miles away from Ray Road. It was first spotted just before 3 by a neighbor returning home from their night job. Dewey Evans called 911 and then started banging on the doors of homes close to the inferno. Sky lit up, um, looked like bright yellow and orange. But the blaze was too far gone for firefighters to save it. This is basically our second home in the summer, so it's like you've almost lost your, your own place. So there's many members who are completely devastated. Just a great loss. and. A lot of memories there. A couple of our charter members have come by and you can kind of see it in their eyes, the loss. Well, we received information from the Fire Investigation Task Force this afternoon that the blaze has been ruled as undetermined. Unfortunately, with so very little left of the structure, they really weren't able to gather the evidence that they needed to be able to have a definitive cause for this. They say that they will reopen the investigation if there's any new information that should become available. In the meantime, if there's anything positive we can say out of this, it is that the swimming pool and also the tennis courts were untouched, and that obviously is a big part of what everybody uses here year-round. Uh, if you want to check out and see when that's going to be open, you can look at their website to find out when they're going to be open later this week. Reporting live in South Charlotte, Natalie Dick, Carolina's News Connection.